This week's hashtag Sunray Squad shoutouts go out to Matilda Koser, Sapphire, It's Mazuko, Little Stories, and Jan Slime. If you'd like a shout out in my next video, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below hashtag Sunray Squad once you have done that. Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Joyce here and in today's video I'll be doing a Easter slime haul review for you guys. I have two packages to review. Um, so yeah, if you like today's video, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, I have a slime obsidian update for you guys at the end of today's video. If you've been watching my recent videos, then you guys know what happened there. So yeah, um, I do have an update, so definitely make sure to watch till the end. And without further ado, let's just get straight on into the video. So the first slime shop I'll be reviewing is called Cabin Slimes and she is an underrated Instagram slime shop. I ordered her Easter duo and in total this package was only $13.20 which is an amazing price. Everything came super nicely packaged and in total this only took six days to get here. For extra she included a grape airheads, a sour patch kids, her business card with a care sheet on the back and a baggie of borax and also an Easter egg and inside was her slime wristband which was super cute so overall shipping and packaging definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The Easter Duo came inside of this super cute blue bag and on the bottom was some pink confetti. Inside I got some Star Patch Kids bunnies which were super yummy. I really like these and then I also got my two 3 ounce slimes which came really nicely well wrapped so nothing leaked or cracked which is always great. So overall presentation was amazing. The two slimes I got were completely mystery so I got Krispies and Spring and Lil Bo Peep. So the first slime I'll be taking a look at is Lil Bo Peep. It came in this nice 3 ounce container and this is a purple butter slime that came topped off with some purple star glitters. The slime is really soft, it did come a bit sticky, but nothing activator can't fix. The slime was supposed to be scented like marshmallows, but to me personally, it kind of had a sweet, almost florally scent. So it didn't exactly smell like marshmallows to me, but it still had a pretty nice scent. And yeah, so moving on to the texture, for a butter slime, it was definitely more on the lighter, poofier side rather than a thick, dense butter slime, which I personally prefer. So I really enjoyed the texture. It was really stretchy, had some great pokes and bubble pops, and overall, I would highly recommend one of her butter slimes. I definitely do wish I had a bigger size of this and yeah overall i'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10 for sure So the next slime I got in the Easter Duo is called Krispies and Spring, and this is a white glue slushy slime. It has some super cute rainbow confetti sprinkles along with some chicken sprinkles on the bottom, and overall this slime was just super cute. I'm not sure exactly what the scent was, but to me it kind of smelled like birthday cake. It had a really nice sweet scent, which I really enjoyed. The slime also did come a bit sticky as you guys can tell, but again, nothing a bit of activator can't fix. Once this slime was perfectly activated, it had some really nice crunches, it was super stretchy, and I love the texture, the beads just felt really nice on my hands, and yeah, overall this slime was just so much fun to play with, and I definitely have to get one of the white glue slushies again, and I'm definitely giving this slime a 10 out of 10 for sure. So the next slime shop I'll be reviewing is called Snoop Crunch and she's a pretty famous Instagram slime shop. I ordered one DIY clay slime from her and in total my package was $22 which is a pretty good price because this DIY clay slime was super intricate. Everything came really nicely packaged in the box with some packing peanuts and the slime came tissue wrapped which was really cute and she also provided an extras baggie. Nothing leaked or cracked which is always great and yeah overall the packaging and shipping was super fast, professional and adorable. 
So inside of the extras bag, I got some pretty standard extras. I got her super cute business card with the care sheet on the back. I also got a baggie of borax, which is always important, and I also got a few pieces of candy. So the slime that I ordered from her is called Rolling With My Peeps, and this is a really adorable DIY clay slime. This kit came with a 7 ounce of a pink, thick and glossy slime inside of this really heavy duty unbreakable container. This is probably the most sturdiest container I've ever felt personally and it, yeah, it was just really professional. This base was scented like Twinkies and Oreos and when I tell you guys this scent was amazing, this scent was amazing. It's probably my favorite scent I've ever smelled before. It just smelled super nice, sweet and yummy. The texture was super thick, stretchy, and holdable. I definitely wish I kept some of the baseline by itself. It was really glossy, and it had some great pokes and bubble pops as well. And yeah, overall, the base for this DIY clay slime was phenomenal. All the clay pieces for this DIY clay slime came in this 8 ounce container and there's just so much stuff included. There was a pretzel charm, some confetti sprinkles, a peeps clay piece, a twinkies clay piece, and 4 clay wheels. And there was also a 1 ounce syrup. This is definitely the most intricate DIY clay slime I've ever had. This was so much fun assembling together. I first took some of the white syrup provided and used that to help attach the wheels to the Twinkie, which is basically going to be the car. And this slime is just so cute. So I just put on all four wheels first. Next, I started putting together the pretzel charm, which is going to be the wheel for this car. So I just put on some white syrup on top and then rolled it in the sprinkles just like she assembled in the picture. And it was just so cute. And then I just stuck that onto the Twinkie. So then I just took some of the white syrup, put that on the bottom of the peep, and just stuck that on the car. And look how cute that is. I can't get over it. I took the remaining white syrup and put that on the pink slime to make it look like a road and overall this slime is just so so adorable and i'll talk more about the texture and how the slime was overall at the end So overall, this slime was super nice. The clay was really easy to mix in. The black kind of took over, so it's now kind of a grayish purplish color, but the texture is super fluffy, soft, and it definitely inflated quite a bit. It's probably more like a 16 ounce now, so I really like that. It's super sizzly, and I just love this slime so, so much. The texture is super relaxing and addicting to play with, so I'm definitely giving this slime a 10 out of 10. I just love everything about this slime, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. So overall, I definitely recommend Snatching from Snoop Crunch. I've linked her shop down below in the description box, along with all the other slime shops from this video. So definitely make sure you go in and check her out. 
So next up is Slime Obsidian, and this is actually the missing slime from my previous Slime Obsidian review. And if you guys haven't watched that yet, definitely make sure to go and watch it. So after I sent in the email about the wrong slime, he responded to me five days after and shipped it out, and then it got to me three days after the response. So that was really good customer service. Inside of the package, I just got his standard business card in Borax, and then the slime that I was missing is Dole Whip, and it came in this um, really nice 6-ounce sturdy unbreakable container with this logo sticker on top and the name label on the side and i was really excited to try this out because i've heard so many good things about his whip textures the presentation of this slime was so so adorable there was a white and yellow side and on top there was a bunch of cute add-ins there were some pineapple rings pineapple females and a bunch of other super cute sprinkles so overall this slime was just so so adorable it was also scented just like the name, so it had a really nice, sweet, pineapple, tropical, coconutty scent, which I really enjoyed. It had the perfect amount of scent, and it just made the slime that much better. Mixing the slime together was super fun. The two colors just look so pretty together, and it definitely fit the vibe of this slime. The texture was definitely very thick at first, super soft and spreadable, but the more I played with it, it got stretchier, poofier, and inflated so much. It also became super sizzly once inflated, and overall, this slime was just so fun to play with. This slime, for some reason, also left like a residue, maybe like an oily residue. Um, it didn't go away after you played with it, so that was a bit not enjoyable, but I've noticed that in a lot of butter slimes, so it's definitely not something new. I think it's maybe because of the clay that they used but other than that the texture was super fun to play with and i definitely recommend one of his butter slimes And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, I'd recommend all three slime shops in today's video. Again, I've linked them all down below in the description box. So definitely make sure to go and check them out. I also just wanted to quickly apologize for my inconsistency in posting. It is testing season right now, so I've been super busy studying and preparing for these tests. So please be patient with me, but I'll definitely try my best to post more often. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, definitely make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye everyone